Hey everybody, welcome to the blog today. In this episode, I'd like to talk about a camera strap. It's the Black Rapid, uh, what do we call it here? It's called the Cargo Sling Camera Strap. And this is the box that it came in. This was actually given to me by a friend uh, who is a non-photographer, went to a photography club with some other photography friends, and got this as a door prize at an event that the photography club was having. Had no use for it, passed it on to me. So, hey, if it's free, it's for me. I'm not going to turn it down. And this is it. Obviously, to, just to start off with, it's got the Black Rapid infamous carabiner that they're known for with the eyelet that uh, threads into the bottom of the camera or the lens or whatever you're going to attach it to. And, you know, it, it, it slides. And I, I think that everybody kind of knows, if you know Black Rapid, you know they're infamous for that. So it's a cargo strap, means it carries stuff, obviously. And what it's going to do is it's going to take your essential stuff that you want at your fingertips. You don't want to carry your camera bag with you. Maybe you have it set off to the side somewhere or it's in your vehicle and you're shooting an event, but you need to have that essential stuff with you all the time. You're either going to put it in your pockets or you're going to wear a vest, but in this case, you're, you can put some stuff in this strap, your bare essentials. So what would you need? Well, first thing you're going to need is batteries. It's, you got to always, if you're shooting an event, you don't want to run out of battery. So I got two Canon batteries in here and these what would go in my, in my uh, battery grip. So two batteries. I never run out of battery in what I do, but sometimes if I start out with not fully charged batteries, I could potentially run out of battery. So there they are. You've got a magnet that kind of snaps it shut. And then the next thing you're definitely going to want to not run out of is memory card. So this has three spots for memory cards, and then there's a piece of fabric that separates them. I'll open it up here. I don't know if we can, if the lighting can catch this, but there's a yellow piece of fabric that separates from the front to the back. So you could potentially carry six memory cards. Uh, the one, one downfall I found to this was these windows why can't I see through here and see which memory card I'm grabbing? I have different memory cards. I only two. I have 16 and 32s, but I would like to be able to see through that window. And they have mesh there, but I just think it's kind of overkill. Like you don't really need that mesh there for that. It's not a deal breaker, but I just would like to be able to see through that window to see what I'm getting. So you've got your memory cards, you got your battery, and then over here, you have another windowed pouch. I, for whatever reason, I just have an Allen key in there to put my plate on the bottom of my camera. And then we have another zipper here. And again, this is a, a double pocket. You have a front, a front part here. The camera can get that. And then you have the back part. Like I have this plate in the back side. And so I have a tripod plate in there. And then I have some lens wipers to clean my glasses. Um, if you shoot with glasses and you're out shooting a wedding, it, like I was a couple weeks ago, uh, in the heat, humidity, you're going to need those. So, and, and that's what I would like to say. I, I did take this out the very first day I used it. I shot a wedding, an all-day event from beginning to end, and I really got a good feel in one day of what this thing was all about. I then used it one more time and shot for basically the better part of a morning and an afternoon with a model, uh, Kendall, which I just finished up that shoot here. That was just uh, last week. And I, again, I used it for most of that shoot. So this has a magnet on it as well. And this magnet is pretty stiff. How long it will stay like that, I don't know, but I'm, I'm really tugging on that pretty good. With that said, you do have a stretch strap here 
and you can slide that underneath. And that's what that's how I did. Now I couldn't really decipher whether it was better to carry it with the battery this way so that it opened this way or carry it this way so that the, it opened this way. And I ended up I ended up carrying it that way, I think. Yeah, it was so okay, let me put it on. Now here's here's the skinny on the whole deal. Okay, so again, nothing bad about the build quality of this thing, with the exception of this battery pouch magnet here. Okay, so when this is hanging, you got your camera on here and you're hanging weight and you don't have your hands on your camera, this thing is fine. It does what it's supposed to do. And when you go to grab your camera, this thing slides up and it does what it's supposed to do. But when you pull the camera up, you a lot of times have slack here. And when you're moving around outdoors, as you would be, this just falls right down like that. It just goes right, right behind you and you're pulling it back up and then it'll go down in front of you and you're pushing it back up because you got this weight in here the tripod plate not so much but <clears throat> excuse me these uh batteries there's a little bit of weight see it wants to fall down now and that was annoying i felt like a 15 year old girl flipping my hair all day long this thing was just down and i was pulling it up down and pulling it up the other big thing that only happened one time throughout the day at the wedding, and that was this opened up and the battery did fall out in the grass. I didn't notice it. My assistant noticed it. It fell out behind me. And okay, so I didn't lose my battery. But if he didn't see it, that's 60 bucks. These are real Canon batteries from B&H just like the Nikons, and they're all about the same price. So $60, if you were to lose both of them, there's $120. Uh, I think if you lost $120 out on a job, that's a pretty big cha-ching to bite in one day. And what if you lost them and you still haven't used them and you needed the batteries? Um, not, not a good deal there. So why it opened, I don't know. I don't know how it happened, but it happened one time that day. So <clears throat> is that a deal breaker? I don't know. The build quality of this thing is awesome, but you have those two issues. If you don't mind flipping it up all the time, and maybe you're not going to carry batteries in there. Maybe you're not worried about that. Maybe you can rig a way that this will stay shut. Quite honestly, I, well, if I buy something new, I want it to be the way, I want it to be good right off the bat. I don't want to have to be rigging something to make it stay. It should be sold that way. Okay, so that right there, they could do a better job, I could say on that. As far as giving it stars and re, you know reviewing it that way or a number system, I don't do that. I just like to show people, this is the product and that was my experience with it. You derive your own thoughts about it based upon that. So it, one thing I do like is, even with the batteries in it, it folds up pretty good, and I can keep it in the top part of my Low Pro backpack with no problem there. So Black Rapid Cargo Sling Camera Strap. Uh, it was awesome for me because it was free. If I was going to lay down the almost 80 bucks for that at B&H or any of the other places, I, I think I would think twice about it myself. I'm not saying I wouldn't buy it, but I definitely would say now that I know what I know about it falling down and the battery thing, I, I, I would have to put some thought into that. Okay, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And you can catch me online. I'm on Instagram at Instagram forward slash Lens Wizard. That's Lens Wizard with a Z. Lens. Um, Reckless uh, Facebook forward slash Reckless Pixel. Obviously, www.recklesspixel.com. You can see all the wording right here or here, wherever it ends up on the video. And I'll put a link to this strap 
in the comment section down there or just above the comment section where if you want if you do want to purchase it or at least read more about it you can go and check it out okay everybody click subscribe if you like to watch this crazy blog again and again and again and thank you so much for stopping by have a good day